Hi, this is Amy Gibson, and these are the Jesus interviews on YouTube. I've been praying to Jesus about world events, and I believe Jesus is speaking to me. So I'm writing his words down, and I'm sharing them with you. And this is not advice. I'm just sharing information with you, and you can make your own decisions about it. But today, Jesus... I'm going to share with you the words of Jesus about world peace. And this is what Jesus said. Jesus said, world peace is possible and going to happen in this generation. Amen and amen. women. Jesus said, this is very personal. It is and it is. The people must be involved, and they must be. And this is essential. World peace is possible because human beings were made in the image of God. The people have forgotten who they are. And to help the people remember, Jesus spoke the words, you are my children. Jesus said, there is an obvious observation consistent over the course of thousands of years, and that is, only those who are people of God have peace of mind, and those whose lives are ruled by the devil. Their minds are bombarded by fears, insecurities, hate, and hostility. The traditional sense of world peace is the successful negotiations of world leaders to prevent combats. And world leaders are human beings with childhood experiences and cultural beliefs, strong beliefs. And the truth is, the interactions and communications between world leaders are very personal, and wars have sprung from personal offenses between world leaders. And sometimes these offenses were simply miscommunications. And the complexity and vulnerability of multiple meanings and misinterpretations on the way to the listener's ears, the speaker's intentions, marred by definitions and ulterior motives and filters, finally changing their meaning at destination. The translators of world leaders could be God-sinned facilitators or instigators, depending on intention. World leaders should rely heavily on gestures and expressions and tone as universal language to prevent misunderstanding. The truest sense of world peace is the absence of violence everywhere, in homes, schools, churches, businesses, etc. How do we achieve world peace? Jesus said, the secret is God's grace. And how to receive God's grace in the hearts of every human being on planet Earth. Jesus said, Strategically speaking, world participation of prayer at a specific, precise point in time equals world peace. It has worked and it will work, said Jesus. Pray genuinely and often and you will reach world peace.
And that's the truth, said Jesus. And I appreciate your time.